In this Revit tutorial, I want to discuss the idea of hierarchy in Revit, uh, what that means and why it's important. So in Revit, all elements fit into uh, a built-in hierarchy. And to begin with, we can really think of it as, you know, the letter T or a tree with two branches or something like that. And to begin with, we have two types of elements. We have model elements and we have annotative elements. So the model elements are something like I have here, the walls or doors. Those are things that are real, at least real in that when the project uh, would actually be built, they exist. So walls, doors, floors, ceilings, all those types of modeling elements are real. And that's, that's really one type of thing in Revit. Annotation, things like dimensions is seen here, text is seen here. Um, those are not real and those are in a completely different category. Um, and something that's really important to think about is that the model elements exist really in every view. We may or may not see them in every view just based on um, you know cut planes and things like that, but they're always there. Annotative elements, text, dimensions, things like that, are only on the view they were inserted on. So I just have a simple uh, rectangle here with a couple of doors. If I go to level two, so I'm on the first floor right now, if I go to my project browser and switch to level two, the walls are still there, but the text has changed. So here I just have some text that says options menu. If I go back to level one, you'll see that the text and dimensions are different. That's because they're only on the view they were inserted on. You might be thinking, why am I not seeing the doors on level two? Well, that's because we're in a floor plan view and the doors are on the floor of level one on that, on that level. So when we go to level two, the doors just aren't that tall. So we would have a different set of doors up here. So that's the difference. So that's a, the really big first thing we have to think of is the difference between model and annotative elements. After that, we have to think about um, a second part of the hierarchy, and that's where we get into the idea of category, family, type, and instance. So in Revit, we have categories. Uh, this is a fixed list of items that are defined by Revit um, into groups of things. So a category, for example, would be walls, doors, tags, and so on. So if I go to the architecture tab where we see walls, doors, windows, that type of thing, those are all categories. The next step down is family. So a family uh, is an element that has a predefined behavior or structure uh, that it has in common with but differs from other families. So within the family um, or rather within the category of door, if I click on one of my doors here and look in the properties palette, you'll see that it's showing me a picture of the door and it's a single flush door. So in this case, the category is door and the family is single flush. The third step down is type. The type is um, basically a step more specific. So in this case, it would be the different sizes of the door. Okay. So if I go to the properties palette and click on what's called the type selector and look in here, you'll see that there's many different sizes of door. We have a 30 by 80, a 30 by 84, 32 by 84, and so on. Those are each types of the door. And then finally, we have instance. An instance is each and every time that door appears in the model. So this is one instance of the door here, and then this is the second instance of the door here. So to review that, we have the category of doors. The family of this particular door, if I look in the properties palette, is a single flush door. The type in this case is the 36 by 84. And then each time it appears in the model is an instance of that door. 
these concepts are very important to understand uh, because basically what Revit does is try to help you out. If I were to go in and make a change to one of these doors, if I were to change it from 36 to 48 inches wide or something like that, if I'm not careful, each instance of that door will update to match the type that it's linked to, basically is what will happen. When that's what you want, that's incredibly useful. And when it's not, that can be very frustrating. So keep in mind that Revit has two different types of elements, model elements and annotative elements. The model elements are seen in all views. The annotative elements are not. Model elements are real, annotative elements are not real. And within those, we have a hierarchy. The hierarchy is the category, for example, door, the family, in this case, single flush, the type, in this case, the size of 36 by 84, and finally, the instance. The instance is each time it appears within the model.